everyone. Today I'm going to figure out how to write the quote, focus on the good. Sorry for the background noise. My husband is fixing his espresso machine. Okay, um, so I'm going to have a large focus and a large good, and I'll probably do the focus and the good in block or mixed and then the on the in script. All right, so I'm just gonna practice right on here. I'm gonna jump in and, and warm up um, after I draw my lines. I can't always tell you to draw lines and then stop and not draw them. So I'm gonna do focus and I want a guideline at the top. A lot of us forget that we do need guidelines at the top of letters to keep that balance. Um, and so that's, I definitely add them, add that in. Um, okay, I think this is about good. And then I'm gonna use that as my top line. Okay, I have my Kelly Crate small brush. Let's see, I'll just use, what color should I use? I think I'm gonna use teal or, oh, I have a lot of green here, so I'll use green. Let me just, this is the Emerald, Kelly Crete's Emerald Watercolor Ink, the palette, and it comes with the dropper, as you know, and the Kelly Crete's size two lettering brush. I'm gonna play around with a couple of different styles of the word focus. So, and then this will help me sort out what is um, kind of, you know, my balance point, what is gonna be a, a large letter, what is gonna be a small letter. So I'll raise that. I feel like this would actually be good for Hocus Pocus. Focus on, oops, I'm gonna make the S bigger. So when I do this mixed style, I, to keep it casual and balanced, I usually do, you know, large, small, large, small, large, alternate the size of the letters, depending on what I'm painting, actually. So now we do good, for on the good. So, um, just a little script for that. And I wanna keep this, get this a little bit of a bounce that so this will have to be shifted over I on my good copy it's too far to the left and like sometimes I will sketch out the use my pencil and eraser and sketch out everything first sometimes I'll just jump in like this I wanted to, you to see my process and just start lettering so good is smaller and you know what, I, I'll be honest, I don't like words with double letters, especially O. But um, anyways, we're gonna do it. And I'm gonna add kind of a script look to this. And then keep, I'm keeping these letters, because of the shapes, they're ovals, um, I'm keeping them about the same size. Whereas, because if I made these large and small, it's not gonna look as good as, as focus. So other than that, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, sorry, I was interrupted, my dog started barking. I am going to um, take this quote and just, as a rough copy, put it onto my watercolor paper. Now, this might look kind of funny, but I do lots of different videos um, with different drawings too, so I uh, still use paper. I can even paint right on top of this. I do not waste my watercolor paper. Okay, I'm going to draw my lines again, even for practice, and then I will do the top and the bottom. Well, I have the top there. And then I will paint my words, and hopefully it all works out. So my two main big words, focus and good, and then I will do a final copy. So let's have some fun with this and switch colors. I'm going to use the Kelly Crates Emerald and Cobalt inks, and I'll switch back and forth. Um, I will use my water too, 
Let me put it up here so you can see what I'm doing. I think you can see, yeah. So I'll start cleaning that and let's start with this emerald. My paint palette is a little bit dusty. I should have cleaned it out, but I think I say that every video. Focus. Uh, nice block lettering. I'm gonna actually switch to the cobalt here. Make it add some interest. Make the O smaller. Remember if your letter is still wet, you can fix it, but don't spend too much time fixing it because it's going to dry fast. And let's go to the C. Ooh, look at that, my, my dusty palette. Oh, U. I'm getting a little bit of that nice um, blend. And I'm gonna go back into my cobalt. Oh my gosh, okay. I gotta write that down. Kelly, clean your palette. And let's add a little touch of green to this S to bring in that kind of change of color. Okay, focus. And then let me zoom in a bit. On the, I think I'll keep the mixing of the colors. And on has to start here, right? Because remember it was not, no, let's do, I obviously didn't mix the colors, so I'm gonna keep it green. On the, I think that's centered. Remember it's practice, so maybe a little bit. This is dark, a little bit to the left, but not too bad. Focus on the, and now I'm gonna start with the cobalt and do my good. So G, uh, let's do that, get that blend going. Stay in there. Oh, I have so many fuzzies on my brush. And do that double O. And cobalt. And then going back to the green for the D. Getting, I wanna make sure I'm not getting too small with these letters or too short. And let's pick up that cobalt and get that nice blend like that. All right, I think, yeah, I think I kind of like that. So then what I would do is maybe practice this a few more times, refine it, um, fix any inconsistencies, oopsies, with the, any inconsistency, inconsistencies with the spacing. This is a little bit tight to the Anna. You know I do like to have my words um, tightly, um, tight in harmony, unified actually like that. But otherwise I'm pretty happy. So you can go down to, go over to my website, kellycrates.ca and pick up the free printable template to um, work on this. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to work on, focus on focus on a single letter. And that letter is going to be the letter C, right in the center. <laughs> okay, so for the letter C, I'm going to go um, pick up my ruler again, and I'm going to draw some lines. We're going to talk a little bit about, because it's a, an oval shape, it can be a tricky letter. Um, I'm going to put a line up here. And we're going to talk about the shape of it, and also um, kind of the style and the position of the, your hand and your brush when you're painting the sea. This letter C, not the ocean sea. Okay, I'll pick up my emerald paint. So for a, just a standard C, a C is an oval. So uh, you can wanna practice your ovals first and you know I do recommend you start on that uh, left side and you come and meet it. Now, I also fix um, 
my lines if they're not perfect. And when I'm fixing my lines, I am looking inside. Okay, so even though my thicks and thins might not be accurate, exactly perfect, I am more most concerned about the interior space of this oval. So for the letter C, we are going to start at the same place right here, and we're going to end and not close it. So I'm going to start here, push, release, and come up. This is a very upright C. You can definitely um, put it on a slant. It depends on your style and also what you're writing. But um, boy, that C looks really good. The other thing you can do is at the beginning, you can put a serif. Now you could add the serif at, it at the end. Where I live, because of the dryness, I don't do that. I add it at the beginning. So I would just draw my line down and then up, oopsies, and around. I'm gonna fix this right now. I'm gonna look at the curve in the top and the bottom and be happy with my curve. So I have that nice, this is actually a really impressive <laughs> see here. See, I surprise myself all the time. And I'm looking in here at these curves. So pay attention to the curves at the top and the bottom. Of course, you want the thickness to be nice. So let's do another one just as, as an example, another serif. Um, this time I'm going to make it rounder, actually. So you don't have to have, let's do an oval up here. Your oval can be much rounder, okay, like this. Um, so let's do a rounder C. I'll do it up here. Coming down, up, pushing over, and coming back like this. This is a little bit thin, but it's nice. It looks good. And I'm looking for those interior lines. Let me zoom in. You see this at the top? The, it, the, um, the oval shape looks good. I just see a little bit of a wobble, so I'm going to go over it and clean it up. See how I cleaned it up? Okay, uh, and let's, let's do another one right here. I'll do one without the serif, nice big round, push, release, and come up. I'll do my fixing, clean this up, clean this edge, the top. Remember, I am most concerned with these curves here, I want it to be curvy. Um, let's, actually we're gonna try an exercise now with the C, um, I'm going to, this is a block C of course. I'm gonna draw this oval higher than the line, so it's just like that. And then we're going to draw our C around it. Okay, like this. Now my phone's ringing, my goodness. Okay, so let's, um, serif or not, it doesn't matter. I'm going to start here and I'm going to go on the outside, push, release, and exit. All right, that still looks good. I have a nice curve, even though I, I mean, this is a little bit high, but you can see how I use that oval shape that's hovering to, let's make it narrower, just like that one, hovering around it to make a nice C. Okay, so just like that. Now let's start here, going around, push, release, and come up. I'm gonna fix this, so I'll make it nice and even. See how much, how, nice, how, how much nicer my C will be and your C will be if you use these floating um, ovals. Maybe I will actually do a worksheet for these floating ovals. That would be a good idea. So one more time here, and let's do a serif. Ooh, that's pretty thick. Up, push, down, and up again. The last thing I'll mention, which I, I've already talked to you about painting um, your ovals before, is the positioning of the hand. These lettering, Kelly Crates lettering brushes are awesome for the side um, position. So you can see my hand was always on the side. But you, remember, can also hold your position upright, I mean, hold your brush upright like this. And, okay, I have to put my line here, just a sec. 
Okay, I'm going to hold it upright and then I'm going to paint my oval using that sweeping motion. Oh, sorry, the C, using the sweeping motion. And you can, can you see how clean my curves are? I don't really have to fix much when I do this technique. I tend to do, use mostly the side, but look at that when you do the upright position uh, for the C. Now I'm gonna do a narrow one and I'm going to draw my serif first. When I use that upright position, I get a really beautiful curve, but it does take some practice and some confidence. Well, you can see that didn't work out too well. Fix that, fix that. Again, okay, so when I'm fixing, I'm not worrying about my thickness of my lines. You can see this is too thick up here. I'm worried about that getting a nice curve right in here. That's what I'm fixing. Look at the beautiful curve of this. So you will always get cleaner lines with the upright position of your brush but and your ovals, but you definitely have to practice. There we go. All right. So I am going to have this worksheet, like I said, focus on the good for you to practice and uh, print paint right on top of it. Use your Kelly Crates lettering brushes, your Kelly Crates inks, palettes, um, or whatever you have on hand to practice your watercolor. Uh, and then, um, oh, this is Canson watercolor paper and work on those C's. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.